Hello one twos and welcome to our online art lessons for week seven. We are going to be painting our hot air balloon. So if you're not up to this stage yet, that's okay. Keep working on paper mache your hot air balloon. But once you are ready to, and um, once you have let it dry, fully dry for a few days, we're ready to paint our hot air balloon. So what you'll need this week is some paint and some brushes. If you don't have any paint, I'll show you how to make some substitute paints or you can use markers. We'll need a plastic plate, some markers, scissors, and, and um, some spare newspaper just to protect our benches from those paints. Um, if you haven't been doing the paper mache task, that's perfectly all, all right. Um, just go back to the activity description in Seesaw and click on the third video. That will be the extra activity. And if you can't do your paper mache or your painting task this week, but you still want to do something, you can always do that activity as well. No one misses out. So if you don't have any paint, that's okay. We can make some. There's a few substitutes we can do. If you happen to have any shaving foam at home, you can always mix that with a bit of food colouring and that will make um, a substitute paint. You can also use some of the flour and water mixture that we made for our paper mache and mix that with some food colouring as well. Um, and that will make a little bit of a grainy, um, light paint but it does dry quite um, strong. You can also use coloured markers to colour in your balloon but just be careful not to press too hard because we don't want to put a hole through our balloon and we don't want to bend our balloon. Um, I don't really recommend markers too much because you will um, use up the whole marker and it will take a very long time. Um, if you do have any paints at home, any coloured paints at all, I recommend using some paints. So first of all we need to separate the balloon from the paper mache mould so you will um, need to ask an adult for some help for this step. Don't just pop the balloon. Um, what you need to do is carefully pinch beneath where the balloon balloon's knot is. So pull the balloon's knot up and pinch beneath the balloon and then what you're going to do is make, um, cut a little hole between your fingers and the knot and then slowly let the air out. The balloon will then fall into your paper mache casing and you can just reach in and pull it out. If the balloon gets stuck inside and you can't get your hand in to get it, don't worry, you can just leave it uh, live in there. So just leave it in there. Step number two is to trim your balloon. So ask an adult to help with this as well and use your scissors to trim the hole of your balloon so that it's nice, uh, nice and um, straight. Step number three is to draw your design. So use a marker or you can always use a pencil as well to draw a design onto your balloon. Make it a nice big design, lots of lines. Um, look at some of the uh, photo examples that I've got in these slides. We can always Google um, hot air balloon designs. Uh, you can use some of the patterns and lines that we've been looking at this year. So wiggly lines, zigzag lines, straight lines, crisscross lines, um, lots of different patterns. You can use polka, polka dots, etc. Step number four is to get your paint ready. So if you're using homemade paint, get around three colours prepared in bowls. So you have a few different colours to play around with. If you're using bought paint, just put some out on the plastic plate, which is going to be our paint palette, so that they're ready to go. Step number five is to have some fun painting. So pop on your art smock or pop on an old top and don't worry about the lines um, because we can always go over those lines with black marker once it's dry. You want your whole balloon to be um, filled in with colour. You might want to do this in two stages. You might want to paint half today and half another day because it will take a while. Then you need to put your balloon somewhere to dry. Like I said before, you can always paint half this time and paint half next time. Work at your own pace. You do not have to get it all done this week. You can get some done this weekend. You can keep painting next week. Work at your own pace. Have a look at some of these pictures here for some um, ideas 
of how to design your balloon. Make sure you don't leave your balloon outside to dry because we don't want it rolling off somewhere and leaving a paint trail behind. So just pop it on a bit of newspaper um, so it's not touching the paint and uh, leave it inside somewhere to dry. It should only take about a couple of hours to dry. Watch the video demonstration as you work. So that is the second link in the um, activity description on a seesaw. Open that up, have that playing as you do your painting. That way you can pause, rewind, you can work along with me. Next week, as a heads up, we will be adding a basket to our balloon. So a hanging basket for the little people to hang out in. Now, this is where you will be using your own creativity. You will need string, scissors, some form of a box, a basket or a cup. And I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. And then a hole punch if you have one. If not, you might need to ask an adult if they can help you make some holes in your hot air balloon using scissors. So, a box, a basket, or a cup, you say, Miss Grace. Where am I going to get something like that? Right, this is where you are going to use your imaginative creativity. So, it all depends on what sort of things you might have available in your house. You might like to use a cupcake patty pan. You might like to cut off the bottom of a milk carton. You might have a small basket that you can use at home. You might think, oh, I've got something like that. I can use that. You might have a paper or a plastic cup you can use. Or you might want to jump on YouTube and look up how to make an origami box. Or you might have another idea. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Something that could hold the people in your hot air balloon. I hope everyone has had lots of fun this week. I hope everyone's looking forward to next week. Next week is the last week we'll be working on our hot air balloon. Can't wait to see what they all look like.